In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hey, Father Alex, where you have questions and together we discern the answers. Today's question is, does God answer every prayer? That's a great question. Whenever we pray, we pray with the belief that God hears us and that he will answer our prayers. We pray because from the beginning of our relationship with God, he has invited us to be in conversation and communion with him. Prayer is the act of communication with God becoming communion with God. That doesn't mean that we always find prayer to be easy. Even though prayer is as easy as calling out to God, we can still find it hard to feel God's presence when we pray. In fact, we can wonder if God is hearing us and our prayers at all. The truth is that God does take the time and attention to answer every prayer. It just isn't always the answer that we are expecting or ready to hear. So here are four kinds of answers that I have personally received in my prayer life with God. Yours may be different, but I imagine that they are similar. Yes. Isn't it great when God says yes to something we want? Not only do we feel happy that we are receiving what we have asked for, we also feel that God is listening to us and understands our needs. Hearing yes from God can be incredibly encouraging and affirming. But there's something else we should remember. When God says yes to something we have asked for, it is always something that is in line with God's will for us and his heart. In the Gospel of John, Jesus tells his disciples, Very truly I tell you, he who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. In my name, you ask of me, for anything I will do it. John 14, 12 through 14. Jesus isn't saying that anything we ask for will be given to us. He is saying that those things that we ask for, which will glorify God and follow his example, will always be given to us. No. Anyone who has ever prayed knows that God does not say yes to everything. As a good parent, God knows that we should not get everything we want, only what we need. Hearing no from God can hurt us. It can make us feel that God does not listen or care about us and our feelings. What is easy to forget is that the God who is all-knowing knows us and what is best for us. Just because we pray to God for something doesn't mean that it is good for us. Looking back on my life, I realized that I would be miserable if God had answered every single one of my prayers. Wait. Sometimes God does not give us a straight yes or no. Sometimes God wants us to slow down and discern carefully what we are asking. Or perhaps he's asking us to wait until the time is right for the blessing he intends to send. No one wants to be told to wait. We want to hear a definite answer and on our schedule. Being told to wait is a good opportunity to learn that what we pray in our time, God provide answers to in His time. Learning to wait has taught me that I am not the center of the universe and that even my prayers, which are important to God, need to wait for God. Silence. Even harder than being asked to wait is not hearing anything at all. Silence and prayer can happen when we aren't training our senses and our heart to listen to God. If all we hear is static, then maybe it isn't the radio station, it's the radio. The silence in prayer also comes when God is whispering to us to come closer. We have lives that are full of noise and distractions. Silence is a great opportunity to deepen our prayer life. We may think that God has abandoned us, or that He doesn't even care enough to listen and respond. But God is always there for us. So to answer the question, God answers every prayer. As his children, we need to train our senses and our heart to hear that voice inviting us into deeper communion with him. Never stop praying, because God never stops listening to our prayers. Thanks for watching this episode of Hey Father Alex. 
If you like this video, hit like and make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And if you have a question that you would like to answer, then write it in the comment section below. And may God bless you today and always.